dear students in the last video we studied the example 1.4 now in this video we are going to observe the example 1.6 see the question given in our textbook that is equilateral triangle is given right this is the equilateral triangle vertices are given a b c having a length l l is the length right the charges are kept on the vertices of the equilateral triangle q1 q2 and q3 right here q1 q2 q3 equal to q the magnitude of all the charges are same so we can write over here it is a charge on first vertices is q charge on second vertices is also q and charge on the third vertices is also q see from the geometry this is the center we can say that is o o is the center right and capital q is the charge kept on the center capital q is the charge kept on the center the question is find out the force acting on this capital q charge or force acting on the center at point o due to the discharge discharge and discharge right this is the question i am repeating the question find out the force acting on the center o force acting on the charge kept at the center center the charge kept on the center is capital q okay so this is the question this is the see what we can write the distance from this distance between a and o means ao the distance ao the distance bo the distance bo and the distance co is same as we know the geometry of the equilateral triangle the distance between ao the distance bo and the distance co is same that distance we can denote by letter small r that we can write so what is the force acting on a so sorry what is the force acting on o due to the first vertices that is a vertices that we will denote like this this is the force that is the force acting on o due to a what is the force acting on o due to b that will be denoted by letter f force acting on o due to b this is the force acting on o due to c that we can write like this this is the vector vector and vector if we say that suppose this is the origin we can draw like this is x axis this is y axis we can say that force act, this the the fo is foa is along the y axis the fob and foc are not on the x axis and not on the y axis for that purpose we want to calculate the components of these two forces foc and fob first of all we will see what is force acting on a due to force acting on o due to a that we are going to calculate right simple we are taking magnitude over here what is the formula force between these two charged particles k q is the first charge this is the second charge distance between them is r ask equation number 1 right again we are taking the magnitude of force acting on a due to b so force acting on o due to b that is fob magnitude we are taking so we will write k q q divided by this r square this is the force between these two charge particles equation number 2 see force acting on o due to c that is k q into q divided by r square equation number 3 students what you are observing we can say that equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 these three equations are same see here so therefore from from equation 1 2 and 3 what we can say that the force acting on o due to a force acting on o due to b force acting on o due to c that all the three forces are equal so we are writing them as a f right so fo equal to 
f we can write f o b equal to also f we can write and f o c also we can write f so here this f o a will be replaced by f correct so this is we can write so f o a equal to we can write f right this is the three third one two three equation this is the fourth equation so this is about this now please concentrate over here pay attention this f o b and f o c are not on the x axis not on the y axis so for that purpose we want to calculate the components or we want to calculate the net force due to the f o b and f o c so finding the net force between due to these two forces right net force due to the f o b and f o c net force right net force due to f o b and f o c but we know that what is f o b it is also f and what is f o c that is also f so using the law of parallelogram by net force we are going to calculate by law of parallelogram by the law of parallelogram so net force we are denoting by letter f dash net force this f dash net force denoting by letter f dash between two forces fob and foc so fob and foc are denoted by letter f fob will be denoted by letter f and foc will be denoted by letter f so what is the statement of law of parallelogram f1 square f1 square plus f2 square plus twice f1 f2 cos angle between these two forces see the diagram what is the angle between this is the angle this is the angle between these two forces and by the geometry we can say that this angle is 120 degree right you can find out so from the geometry we can say that the angle is 120 this is fob this is foc right but fob equal to f foc equal to f we we know that right so net force we are calculating net force f dash equal to so this f dash equal to under root f dash square plus f dash square is becomes 2f square 2f square 2 as it is this f into f becomes f square cos 120 is minus 1 right so putting the value of cos 20 that is minus 1 half cos 20 is minus of 1 half so putting the value this to this to get cancel so f dash equal to we can say that that is 2 f square minus this minus f square so 2 f square minus 1 f square that is that is only a f square so this we can write like this this root means what raised to half and this f square remains as it is this to this to get cancel you can write like this so f dash equal to f so what is f what is f dash f dash is the net force of fob and foc see fob and foc the net force is what f dash so this f dash is like this so this is the f dash it is f dash this is f dash so at this center two forces are acting one is f dash other is f but what we calculated f dash equal to what f dash equal to also f right so f dash equal to we will write f so at the center two forces are acting one is f acting downward one is also f acting upward these are the two forces right and these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction we are seeing in the diagram because they are at the same distance right distance between them is this distance is same this distance is same this distance is same so that's why at the center the upward force f the downward force is also f so these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction that's why the net resultant force at the center becomes zero
so we can conclude that due to the charge particle a due to the charge particle first charge particle second charge particle and third charge particle when they are kept on the equilateral vertices of the equilateral triangle the resultant or the net force at the center becomes the zero right that we have solved now the last statement that we are going to write this is the equation number f dash equal to f this is your equation number we can write equation number 5 from 4 and 5 we can say that from equation 4 and 5 to equal and opposite forces are acting on center to equal and opposite which two that is f dash means f f and f these two equal and opposite forces are acting on the center right therefore net force on the center becomes zero right so here is the end of your numerical in this way you can complete the numerical correct see this we can write mathematically also force net force acting on o center force acting on o upper force is f in a vector form we can write this is a upward, uh, upward force upward force we can write i cap f i cap that we can write magnitude of f into i cap downward force that is f into j cap that we can write um, i cap and uh, that is downward means what is minus i cap that we can write so magnitude we can write this f this is minus f equal to 0 right the force acting on the center this also we can write mathematically but it is enough right so in this way we calculated the force acting on the center when the charges are kept on the vertices of the equilateral triangle correct so you just take the screenshot of this numerical here the numerical ends see revising the numerical revising the numerical equilateral triangle on the vertices of the equilateral triangle the charges are kept right this is the center on the center capital q charge is kept and the question find out the force acting on the center so force acting on o due to the b that will be directed like this force acting on o due to this c that will be directed like this right force acting on o due to the a that will be directed like this so we calculated first of all what is foa what is fob and what is foc we calculated right see the equations are same equation 1 2 3 by putting the values we saw that key equations are same that's why we wrote fob magnitudes fob fob foa foc are same so for the simplification we are writing it by denoting by it as a capital f right and c that's why fo equal to f that we uh, wrote over here by this is about the this force because this is on the line these two forces are not on the line so that's why finding the net of these two and net of these two is here that is f dash and that f dash we calculated over here right by the law parallelogram so this is law parallelogram right f dash we calculate that is f it becomes f so f dash equal to f so this is f this is also f means what the two forces one is upward one is downward are f and f means what they are equal in magnitude only direction is different 
direction is in a opposite direction. So, that is why we wrote over here the equation from the 4 and 5 the two equal and opposite forces are acting on the center the net force on the center becomes 0 right. You just take the screenshot of this example 1.6 right and here we ends the numerical thank you.